Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue with the part three here. If you just new to this, we did part one and two. The link is down below. Please follow it. And if you did complete part two, you should have this file saved. Open this file and then go to uh, Project Explorer. If you don't have this on your screen, all you got to do is uh, come up here at the Project Explorer, click on that and click on Project Explorer. This comes and opens up. From here, go up to, we we'll see that arrow on top of the uh, box. It says create new model. Click on that. And then we're going to have this box opens up. And we have four window. Click on the one that says at grid line. And then select, I'm going to select grid number one right here. And click enter. And then it says uh, uh, give the view name. So I'm going to type in grid, G-R-I-D, and click enter. So you should have this right there. See this? Once you have that. And here ask, uh, please uh, uh, select the default view direction. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select a view. Let me zoom in. Bring this in here. Kind of rotate it the way I want it. I want to see it like that there. Uh, maybe that's better, right there. See, I can see all these arrows right here. Well, I didn't do a good job today. Let me uh, kind of zoom in. see all these arrows right there. There's one here, there's one there, there's one there, one from outside. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this one right here, moving inside. We'll click on that and then hit enter. Okay, we're going to return back to uh, in here for it says custom view. Let's click uh, southeast isometric. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing when I create another view at grid 6. So I'm going to come up here, click this one more time, add grid, and I'm going to select grid number 6. Where is number 6? Uh, right there. Click that and hit enter. And then I'm going to type in grid uh, 6. Hit enter. When I made this, I made it grid number one. I should have put one here. I didn't do it. So that should say grid one. Let's shut this off. And turn this on. Oh, um, please select the direction. We didn't do that. Come back in here and rotate this. I'm going to select this direction right there. And click enter. All right, and let's go back to uh, this view for now. And then come back up here. You notice I uh, should have put this mid grid one. I hope you followed what I said, not what I did. Uh, grid, and I put grid one, grid six. So I'm going to click grid, grid one right here. I'm going to turn it on. And you should see this like this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, rotate this so we can see this center pretty good. What I want to do, I want to move this uh, USCS to over here. To do that, come up to the uh, property palette. From a property palette, click on a USC uh, icon right there. And then from there, click on this one right there where it says, if you hover over, it says Move USC. So before I do that, let me sure make my snaps are correct. Uh, I'm going to take nearest out, intersection node, midpoint out, and good intersection I want. Okay. So I'm going to click on uh, move, and then it's going to move it to the center right here. Let me rotate this so I can see the other side of it, actually. Right there. Snap into the intersection. 
Oh, didn't do it. Come on. So now you have it. Now remember, this is not the right direction. We're gonna clean up the direction. I like to see the. Uh, Y be going up, Z coming out, and X coming this way. So to do that, uh, let's keep this in here so we can see it. Sorry for the... Come up here, and right there where it says rotate about X and rotate about Y. Click on rotate about, rotate about X, and then you see it kind of moved, and then click rotate about Y, and it moved. Now I have my Y axis green going up, uh, red X is coming this way and uh, blue Z coming out. That's how I like it. So from here, uh, let's go to, uh, let me shift this kind of rotate like this a little bit better. Okay, go up to uh, a home tab. From a home tab, go to extended model right here and then find uh, Bracing right there. Click on bracing. So let's select this location right here where we had starting location. Let me uh, shift this a little bit this way. And then go up to this corner right here. And this is the property. You want to click on type and section. And you're going to see right here. And I want to make sure this is not crossed as a single. Click down bar right here. Make it a single. And uh, this is uh, AIC 15. Let's just stay with L3 and a half by. Uh, and a half by one quarter inch and if you want to change you're just going to click on this and you can have a different number whoops i changed it i was going to go uh three and a half by three and a half all right there, let's leave it that and then you're going to go ahead and uh click on geometry you, if we did this right, it should be 2012. And uh, in a four offset from right here, number of fields, let's make that to a two. And then offset from a top, let's make that to one foot. One, make sure you put the foot mark on top. And the rest of them should be good. Let's just. Uh, Close this out. Let's do this side, same way we did it. Go ahead and do this side. Single, that's fine. Let's go to geometry, 2012, number of fields. Make that to a two. And offset, make that to one foot. There we go. So now we did this. Now we're gonna move into grid number six. That was just a grid number one. I forgot to put the one right there. Okay, let's move to uh, grid number six. Just gonna turn this on, turn this off, and uh, come up here. We should have like this. We're gonna do exactly the same thing we did like last time. 
So I'll just kind of turn this around so I can see. I don't have my UFC. Should be one here, but it's not. Let's put one right here. Okay, the direction looks good. So that's we all set. We're going to come in, click bracing again. This time we're going to put a cross brace and see if you can do that. So I'm going to click on bracing and put this one right here. Click that and click that node over there. S type selection, cross bracing, that's good. Um, let's go to positioning. Geometry, one, uh, number of a field, make it two. Let's see if that will work. Okay, offset from the top, one foot. Okay, click, okay. Aha, uh -huh. see what I did? I made number uh, two field. Let's undo this, make one field. Now we know. Come back in here. One thing I don't like about this program, the undo, you have to go back quite a bit to make it what it was. How did we get there? Let's start over again. So we go click on bracing. This is a good exercise. Click on bracing. Click right here. Come on. And back in here, in a node, and type selection, cross is good. Geometry, if you leave it as one, it become cross brace. If you make a two, it become like last time. So if you put an offset in there, that's fine too. Let's put an offset from the top, make it one foot, and enter, close. And let's do the same thing on this side. 